Welcome to episode 7 of the DoD Park Species Profile video series. This episode is all about the southern two-lined salamander. This tan to light yellow colored salamander is named for the two black longitudinal stripes running from the eyes onto the tail. The stripes may become broken and sometimes reduced to spots. The back and often the sides of the salamander are speckled with dark colored spots. They range in length from approximately two and a half to three and three quarter inches with the tail comprising nearly 50% of its total length. Adult males have prominent cirri, which are small downward projections which grow from the snout during the breeding season. It is thought that these structures play a role in recognizing females and competing males. Southern two-line salamanders are confirmed present on 43 military sites. This species ranges from coastal Virginia south to northern Florida and west from central Indiana and Ohio to southeastern Louisiana. This semi-aquatic salamander species can be found in a variety of habitats throughout its range such as streams, creeks, seepages, and ditches where it is often found hiding under logs, leaf litter, and vegetation. They may disperse into wooded terrestrial habitats in wet, warm weather and are often found crossing roads in rainy weather during the breeding season. This footage of a southern two-line salamander was recorded at Naval Weapons Station Yorktown, located in southeastern Virginia. Southern two-line salamanders are opportunistic predators and eat crustaceans, mollusks, copepods, and insects. Depending on local conditions, mating can occur from September through May. Breeding and egg deposition occur in aquatic habitats, especially in streams. Females guard their nests until the eggs hatch. The larval period for southern two-lined salamanders lasts from one to three years. Predators of southern two-lined salamanders include garter and ringneck snakes, crayfish, birds, mammals, and other salamanders. Even though this species is abundant throughout most of its range, military natural resources managers may consider addressing threats to this species, including stream pollution and siltation, or changes in soil chemistry in their integrated natural resources management plans. Thank you for watching episode seven of the DoD Park Species Profile video series.